What's happening, Gymshark? It's your girl Izzy here from the Grindhouse studio. Today, we're gonna to be hitting a 10 minute total body workout. You're just gonna need two dumbbells today and we're gonna get straight to it. So, first movement is gonna be your squat. I need you to grab both those weights now. We're gonna begin with the dumbbells up on the shoulders. I'm gonna show you a couple of reps and then we're gonna get started. So, elbows are coming up and forward. You wanna really think about wrapping the elbows straight in front of you. Toes are slightly turned out, feet underneath you, and you're gonna push the knees out as you slowly lower down. We push up we squeeze the glutes at the top, okay? You're gonna be here for 30 seconds. You're gonna get a little break, and then I'm gonna show you the next movement in that break, so make sure you are checking me out on the screen. Ready? We're gonna go in five, in four, in three, two, one. Tummy tight, core really squeezing in here. Push the knees out and lower those hips. Like you're trying to sit down on a tiny chair. Push up, squeeze the top. Slow down, three, two, one. Drive up. So we're gonna focus on a nice slow tempo on this first one, just because we're getting used to each movement. First round is all about just making sure you've got your technique right, and then you can start to challenge yourself. We got six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, 15 seconds time. We're gonna hit a deadlift. So your feet wanna be parallel now. Shoulder blades are engaged, so draw the shoulders down the back. You're gonna send the hips back, soften the knees, bring the dumbbells down either side of the feet, and then we push away and straighten up the body. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, 30 seconds here. Flat back, soften the knees, push away. Again, I want you to just think slow and sexy for this first round. We do not need to rush. Take your time, just chill. Hips back, tap, drive up, squeeze the glutes at the top. Hips back, keep the knees soft, melt to the floor and push. Good, three, two, one, last push up. Nice, well done, okay. Next one is gonna be your bent over row. So same sort of position that you were hitting, that flat back is here, dumbbells are in line with your shins. You're gonna row the dumbbells to your hips and then you're gonna release down towards the floor, okay? So squeezing into the hips, releasing down, think slow. Ready, three, two, one, here we go. 30 seconds here, controlling it all the way down, nice. Big pull, and slowly control down, good. Squeeze, and release, nice. Think about putting the dumbbells in your pockets rather than rowing up here, otherwise you get this little chicken wing effect. We don't want that, we want lovely long arms controlling down, good. Three, you got two, you got one. Beautiful, dumbbells down to the floor, take a seat. We're gonna come into a floor press. If you've got a bench, you can use a bench. If you're on the floor, come with me. So dumbbells are gonna come up onto the sides, dumbbells in the air, and we're gonna lower the arms down at a 45 degree angle, push up. Ready? We go three, two, one, here we go. So 45 degree angle with the palms. Wrists are staying in line with the elbows. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you push up. Inhale as you lower. Good, exhale to push up. 10 more seconds here. Nice and controlled. Feel that chest contract. Squeeze, push up. Five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. Dumbbells down. Just bring your elbows to the floor. Dumbbells here, sitting up nice and tall. That is your first round done. We're gonna take a little reset. So in about 15 seconds time, we're gonna go again. Now I wanna up the tempo a little bit more. We're also gonna work for a little bit longer. So now you're gonna work for 40 seconds on. So we're gonna start in that squat position, elbows forward, knees pushing out to the side, hips sitting back. Ready? We're gonna go three, in two, in one. Show me that squat. Let's go, knees out. So when you're pushing up, I want you to think big toe, little toe, heel. Those are the three points of the foot. You really wanna focus on pressing the floor away with those three points. So now let's move with a little bit more tempo. So just moving a little bit faster. So think maybe two counts down, one count up now. Drop back, squeeze at the top, good. Sit, push up. We got five, four, three, two, one. Fabulous. Put the dumbbells down. Just have a little 15 second shake out. So you still get that 15 second break between each movement. Next is your deadlift. 
Shoulder blades engaged. Flat back, melt the knees. We go, three, two, one. Deep breath, roll the shoulders down the back, hips back. Soften the knees, tap, push the floor away. So a little bit faster than what you gave me before would be fabulous. Hips, knees, push, straighten up. Hips, knees, press the floor away, good. Perfect. Now don't worry, if you're not that familiar with this, if you're just getting used to a movement like this, you have got time to figure it out. It's all about the process. You don't necessarily nail something the first time you do it. That's why we keep coming back here. It's that consistency through this whole program that's gonna get you there. Three, two, one, amazing. Take your 15, dumbbells down, have a little shake off of the wrists. Ready for your bent over row flat back, remember to pull into the hips. It's like you're sliding the weights up and down your thighs. You wanna be able to feel that weight there. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go, bent over row, squeeze. Release two counts, squeeze. Release two counts, good. Now you've gotta make sure with this one that you're not too upright, otherwise this happens and you are not working that back as we need to. So get the chest right over the toes. Pull right into those hips, good. Big squeeze. Squeeze your glutes as well. It's gonna protect that lower back. Keep you nice and straight and aligned. Yes, five, four, three, two, one. Dumbbells down, 15 seconds. Get on your back. We have not got long. We've nearly finished this second round. Dumbbells are gonna go up in the air and you're gonna lower those elbows. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, control it down, squeeze it up. 40 seconds here. Let's move a touch faster than we did before. Let's increase that tempo and increase the time. So overall, the volume we do is gonna be more. Drop, squeeze it up at the top, good. As you push up, press your shoulder blades down into the floor or the bench. Squeeze, 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 good. Okay, we got 10 seconds. Let's go, 10 seconds. I'm starting to feel my chest now. Big push, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the elbows, drop your weights, let them bring you up. One more round, we're nearly there. So close, your 10 minutes are nearly up. It's your last round, your last chance. This is like your go for it round, okay? Elbows through with that squat. We're gonna hit it for 50 seconds now. You're only gonna get a 10 second break between each one. Let's smash it, ready? Dumbbells up on the shoulders. We go in three, in two, in one. Here we go, Gymshark. Push the knees out, drive up, squeeze the top. Sit in those hips right down low. Squeeze the glutes to the bottom, push the floor away. Bam. Good, nearly there. Drop, squeeze, all the way down. Push up, squeeze, perfect. Use that breath, exhale as you push up. Good, 10 seconds. We take a 10 second break, you hit that deadlift. Four, three, two, one. Dumbbells down, just take 10 seconds. Pop those dumbbells here, catch your breath. We go, deadlift, three, two, one. Here we go, hips back, melt, push the floor away. Hips back, melt the knees, press everything up. You're so close. You are so close, stay with me. Hips back, soften the knees. You're definitely gonna feel the hips, glutes, lower back, hamstrings, all up that posterior chain is working overtime now to make sure you are hitting that perfect technique. Even on round three, every rep needs to be consistently perfect, all right? Squeeze, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Push it up, 10 seconds. Dumbbells back down, breathe. Just enough time to catch your breath. Bent over row. Take breaks when you need to for this one. It's quite a difficult position to hold, okay? We go three, two, one. 
Here we go. Flat back here. Dumbbells up the thighs. Quickest tempo of the day. Squeeze, release. Now, you might not be able to hold this for 50 seconds. That is absolutely fine. All you've got to do is stand up, roll your shoulders out, and you get back in. Nearly there. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Good. Nice. Nearly there. 10 seconds. Last few pulls. Big pull now. Five, four, three, two, one. Dumbbells down. Take a seat. You've got 10 seconds to get into that floor press for the final time. This is it. Last one of the day. We go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Floor press. Show me. Last round. One count down. One count up. It's the longest round. It's the quickest round of the day. Just hold on to those weights and push. Big drive up, good. Challenge yourself today. That's all you gotta do. Whatever it is, that one extra rep, that extra bit of effort every single day is what is gonna make that progress happen. That is the secret to progress. It's not big, massive changes all at once. It's small challenges every single day. Good. We got six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, elbows down, dumbbells down, release. Well done. That was your total body 10 minute session with me, Izzy. We'll see you on the next one.